Hey guys, story time. My name is Abigail Irosaru and I am a British long jumper, but that's not the story. The story today is in honour of my six metres and 80 centimetre personal best that I recorded way back in 2012 because yesterday was its nine year anniversary, the 9th of June 2021. Now, if you know anything about your sporting history, 2012 was yes you guessed it the london 2012 home olympic games the greatest show on earth i think it was called and so for me that six meters and 80 per centimeter personal best represented so much more than just a number it was a 43 centimeter um personal best like addition to what i'd previously jumped which is quite significant but even more than that it represented an Olympic A standard. So why is this gonna benefit you listening to me talk about my six meters and 80 personal best? Well, I want you to have your own similar breakthrough personal best moment. I want to inspire you and maybe give you one quick thought that you can action and take away from today, from listening to this, so that you can have your breakthrough moment, so that you can be literally catapulted from the unknown realms of just getting by, just doing enough, into the realm of world-class, Olympic standard, top tier performance and achievement. I truly want you to have that breakthrough, personal best moment. How can you achieve that? Well, through the core message that I want to share with you right now, it's about letting go. Because looking back and re-watching the video, I'll include the link in this video, okay, looking back and watching that leap, I can remember every single emotion, every single thought and feeling. Uh, even as I'm telling you this story now, I am inhabiting Abigail, 22 year old Abigail in that moment at the top of that runway. And I hope that by inhabiting that moment and sharing with you the, the process that I was going through to get that big leap, you too can have your own moment where you can feel and know that you are about to produce that breakthrough performance so that you can be who you are meant to be, so that you can move, like I said, from obscurity and, and, and the unknown and just getting by and just figuring things out to like, wow, this is what I'm called to do. This is how I do it. And then achieving those breakthroughs, achieving those world-class performances becomes second nature. It becomes just what you do. So I want you to walk in that gift, truly in the fullness of who you are. The six metres 80 happened on my final round, the sixth round in this competition. Now I'm not gonna go into the before in great detail, but all I can tell you is that I almost didn't even make it. I almost didn't even start the competition. There were many reasons around that, but I literally called my coach three times and was just like, I can't do this competition. On the third time he didn't pick up. So I took that as him saying, Abigail, just shut up and just get on with it, which was what I needed. And I'm in this final round and I'm having the competition of my life because only, I think in the fourth round, I'd jumped 6.52. And the European standard, which I thought, oh, I wanna to go to that as well, the European Championships was 6.55. So I only needed three centimeters. The round, be in the fifth round, I'd fouled. And so I was just like quite nervous at the top of the runway. I need three centimeters. I know that that's all I need and I know that I can clearly do that. I just need to just have a better leg shoot. Three centimetres, what's that? But I also had that niggling fear in the back of my mind. Oh, what if I foul? What if I foul this one? And all I said to myself was, if you foul, you foul. Just let go and let God. That Those were my thoughts at the top of the runway. And 
it really was just, you know, how your shoulders are just uptight and heavy and uh, there's just so much craziness going on in your head when you're supposed to be trying to get into this flow state. I was able to just release that and just run. And you'll see the rest for yourself if you look at the video. I would keep watching because actually my reaction is better than the actual jump itself. It's very grainy quality, but I thank God to whoever was in the stadium recording that video, who took it on their, you know, probably flip phone camera, because I love you, I love you, I love you. Every time I see that video, it makes me happy, it makes me cry. It makes just all of the emotions come flooding back. But all I can say is that in that moment, I let go. I let go of the fear of fouling. I let go of the fear of having to jump a particular distance. I really let go ultimately, and I'm just thinking now, I let go of the outcome and I focused on the process. I just said, do you know what? You do what you can do. It doesn't matter whether you foul. Don't worry about that. Don't have anxiety about that. Don't feel ashamed of fouling, of coming away without what you ultimately wanted to achieve on that day. Just control what you can control. There's so many thoughts within that, you know, there's, if you've ever studied NLP or know things about a little bit about mindset, I'm using pretty key terms, control the controllables, but letting go is really what I want you to, to go away from this video session um, with. I want you to run away with that thought of letting go, of releasing what is holding you back because it was my ability to let go of the fear of fouling, to let go of the fear of what the outcome would be or the expectation of that, to let go of all of those things and let them fall out of my head and let God do his thing and just trust that my body knew what it was doing, trust that the practice and the times that I'd committed to all the training throughout that past year and in my career to that date it would figure itself out, things would turn out right. And if they didn't, I let go of that as well. So I just want to challenge you because ultimately letting go led to an incredible breakthrough performance for me. And I was able to replicate that again when I tapped into that later down the line, tapped into that moment of letting go. And that became my thing, the big performances. I'm so glad that the anniversary came up to debt yesterday because it was such a reminder and challenge for me as well and that's why I want to challenge you to let go because like I said earlier the core message is this when you figure out what's holding you back and when you ask yourself truly ask yourself what is holding me back and you let that go you release that you will be catapulted from the unknown just getting by realms of obscurity into the exciting, breathtaking world of breakthrough, world-class, Olympic standard, top tier performance and achievement. And there's nothing like that feeling. There's nothing like that moment of letting go letting God and just leaping. So details, details, details. How are you going to do this? I would challenge you to please, please, first of all, take this moment right now. Take advantage. Have you got two minutes? Have you got five minutes? Whatever you need to do to figure out what's holding you back. Get a pen and um, get out your iPad or whatever it is. I'm just trying to grab what, what's near me and start scribbling it down. Find a friend, have that conversation. What's holding me back? What do you think is holding me back? Tap into yourself, pause, <sighs> meditate on it, pray on it, figure out what is holding you back from achieving your Olympic goals, your Olympic dreams, your breakthrough moment, your personal best performance. And challenge yourself to let it go, no matter what you look like, no matter what the outcome is, do that. And I would also say that if you need to have this conversation with me, I really want the world to be a better place because you are living in the fullness of who you are, because you have let go so that you can walk into or leap into the fullness of all you can achieve, all you've been called and made and destined and designed to be. 
And so I'll also include details of how you can contact me in the description. My expectation is that you will truly walk away from listening to this video and be challenged to figure out what's holding you back. Let go, let God and leap. Have an amazing day.